new conservative leader, Pierre Poiliev, essentially avoiding the media. We haven't heard from him in 40 plus days. He doesn't take questions from reporters. What do you make of that strategy? Well, I think that it's a sincerely be held belief on the part of Mr. Poiliev that the media are against him. And he's convinced that uh, by completely avoiding the media and not talking to them, after he went through a, an event where one senior member of the media kept saying, well, are you going to allow more than one question, was quite persistent, actually apologized for it later, but I don't think he had to, because Poiliev was playing a game where he thought he could just make an announcement to the media and they would write it down as if they were taking steno and then he would get to walk away. So that's not quite the way it works. Uh, he didn't show up, for example, uh, last Saturday. I was in Ottawa for the wonderful press gallery dinner, which mm -hmm. they hadn't had in three and a half years, and Poiliev was notably absent. So it's a game that he's playing. And the fact that you and I are even talking about it, I think that serves his purpose because he gets to look at his face and say, see what this mainstream media is. They're all against me, and that's why I won't talk to them anymore. But at some point, if he wants to have his messages understood by Canadians, he's going to have to talk to media, and he's going to have to do it to, you know, in a very serious way. He thinks that he's getting enough of his messages through, for example, a question period, but that's a very thin tranche of the, of the population that actually follows that. He's got to talk more generally, and the media, of course, will play their role. Tom, thanks so much for all that. As always, good to see you. CTV's Tom Malkair, our political commentator and the former leader of the NDP.